me and my friends, my friends, me and my friends got wings for lunch and I got like a, a teriyaki bar. No, I don't like barbecue. A teriyaki garlic. And she got like a barbecue teriyaki, barbecue. Oh my God. I ate a garlic teriyaki, teriyaki wing, boneless. She ate barbecue garlic wing, boneless. They both have garlic. We leave the restaurant and she goes, oh my gosh, that was like, it was good, but that was so much garlic. Like my breath is going to be kicking like garlic, like the rest of the day out loud I was like oh yeah and then inside I'm like I don't even I don't even taste the garlic on my taste buds like I tasted the garlic but I don't feel like it's sitting there am I walking around with garlic breath have I literally made myself the best vampire repellent of all time my my, my breath is kicking like garlic and I don't even know are my taste buds not in tune? Do I not understand that that was a lot of garlic? Moral of the story, keep mouthwashing your car, I guess. You don't know when your breath's kicking sometimes. I, I listen, this is a weird trick. I don't know if it's true. I've looked stupid doing it probably if it's not right. I heard that if you lick, if you lick your wrist, good Lord, if you lick your wrist and then smell it, that's what your breath smells like. <laughs> Is that not a thing? Do people not do that? I thought it was a thing. I don't know. Anyways, by the t by the title of the video, you're like, I'm not getting what uh, what we're getting at. She's is she coming out with a a breath mint line? G snaps, smints, <laughs> snaps, mint. No, actually, okay. If you missed uh, the video on Monday that I just put out, the last video right before this one would be uh, the Never Have I Ever Portillos. Um, at the end of that video, I said that I had a big announcement, and I announced it, and it was that that I was starting a Patreon channel. Patreon channel. It's a channel on Patreon. And I talked about it a little bit in that video, but I just wanted to like make a Patreon its own trailer and its own little video so that if you don't understand what a Patreon is, or you don't know if what's going on. That way you, this, this video, you can be up to date. You can understand what's going on. And if you want to join, now you have some info. You're not walking in blind. You're not walking around with garlic breath and you don't even know. So basically Patreon um, is a website that hosts and holds a bunch of content for like YouTubers, artists, graphic designers, like uh, basically anybody. <gasps> oh my God, there's a cicada on my windshield. Why did, okay, a cicada just, I have like full body chills, just landed on my windshield and then just slid down. Absolutely not, gross. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, just like another platform, social media platform where people can host more content that they have to share. Now, 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 disclaimer, warning, ears open. I'm still posting on uh, this YouTube channel, Mondays and Fridays. Right now I'm doing Mondays at 5 p.m. Those are like the main videos of the week, okay? 5 p.m. Central Time and we do the live chats. We're in there commenting away, he and and hawing. And then on Fridays, I usually post the videos around 2 p.m. It depends on how chaotic life has been. Post the videos around 2 p.m. And those are just kind of like an extra bonus video of the week sometimes we do people watching sometimes we do a craft sometimes we well i don't know <laughs> whatever the day bringeth we doth filmeth <laughs> and posteth so i'm still posting on youtube monday through friday you are not losing any content um on this youtube channel by me having a patreon but i have seen plenty of comments of people over the past years being like i wish we had longer videos i wish we had more like unedited like versions of the of the videos i wish like you posted every day every day you know because i got the gift of gab you know your girl loves to talk easily distracted like there is footage out there that you haven't seen where it's just but -da 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 -da. you're like oh my gosh she hasn't picked a topic yeah this video itself could be studied you know i don't need to donate my body to science they go we've seen enough videos we get it the gift of gab and then i love oh, to talk and yeah then yeah get... yeah 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 we all know that you love to talk my god let's get to the good stuff I, I just, this is editor christine by the way this is i'm editor christine okay you're welcome in advance for all the extra content well i was like i was kind of wrapping it up there if you look she left her notes here okay yeah let's go over let's go over all the stuff that i'll be posting over on the patreon bloopers deleted scenes uh rants and skits that don't make the final video there's going to be at least one one extra exclusive Patreon video each month that's either going to be like a vlog or a different type of taste test or a craft or maybe something completely different. You guys name it. We'll be talking about ideas over there of like what you guys want to see. So there's going to be at least one of those a month. Also, I'll be posting like really chill, laid back, like coffee chat videos where we can just hang out super unedited, just kind of like catch up for the week. I'm really excited for those because those are going to feel like just like we're FaceTiming. Like FaceTime with a friend. Because I just launched the Patreon this week, I was like, what better week to just sit here and post new content every single day? Okay, so you head over there right now. You can check out a very long vlog I did for the whole month of May. Hey, high five, driver. Where are we going? To Target. To Target? <laughs> oh my, just snap my back. <laughs> I know those eyeballs. 
Chi-Chi can tell you the story about how she got a college education. I literally walked up and I said, you don't need anybody to buy you flowers where you could just pick them and cut them yourself. Oh my gosh, it tastes like, oh, oh, that's not good for you. You don't need nobody. <laughs> mama, mama. My coworker sitting next to me, I thought it was like a mannequin or like a dog or like a dead doll. Wow. It's gonna be my new alter ego, Kristen. If you're a seasoned veteran. Okay, we're just finished with the podcast. I believe you can see. And she did poison him. So he survived poisoning. And I posted some clips of some of the leftover international candy that I had from the Universal Yums box. I actually found like my new favorite candy in that stash. I'm super excited about it. I just tried to figure out like how much it would cost to ship those to me. It smells kind of nutty. Like almost like a, almost like a, I was gonna say a loose peanut butter. These are assorted sour fruit chews from Germany. Oh my gosh, it just looks like a white chunk of cheese. How sour does something have to be for you to claim it sour? Is not that I would want like a crab flavored candy. <coughs> the people at customs are like, why are you here? I'm here to get crabs. They're like, you want to get crabs? You want to, that's the goal of it. You can't just go to another country asking for a disease with it. Your sexual escapades are of no business of me, a worker at the international airport of. And I saw a lot of comments of people telling me when I made scotch ruse without a recipe, I've never seen more comments on one of those videos that you have to try. We have to try these again with the recipe. You need to try it for realsies and then get back to us on if you like the scotcheroos or not because i had a pretty hard stance i didn't like them i just dropped the video i think yesterday of me making scotcheroos with the recipe it's like a 20 minute long video making room for things in the fridge should be a should be a game you should give out scholarships for that for college peanut butter is the worst thing to measure out and then scoop it out of the measuring cup into whatever it's gonna live why are we always moving the peanut butter around so like we're in a candy factory and it's 95 degrees and they don't have the fans on because then the candy will melt but i'm gonna melt and my sweat's getting in the coffee and every single piece of toffee that you eat from this candy factory has a little bit of my sweat in it so it's kind of like you're biting into a little bit old sweet piece of me oh this wait did i also get that wrong in the recipe i didn't even acknowledge that in the first video no wonder how do i know when peanut butter is melted it wasn't a solid before so the butter was just for the paint just say that Hers looks pretty smooth. We need a cup and a half of peanut butter. Creamy, nut crunchy, in a jar, fresh to go. Tell them if I need clearer instructions or more pictures or both. This is gonna need to soak out my fat tie. Little bit of a plastic tie in there. Gonna get that out. I've worked in enough kitchens, which is funny to say because, huh? I've worked in- Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you right now, a, a good chunk of that video, I edited it, I watched it back. A good chunk of that video, we just left the stove on. The stove burner, it was just on. You'd have to go watch and see. Not using it, just on in the background. And, and, oh my gosh, wait, can I get a drum roll please? What? What? What is that? What? I'm sorry. Can we like put in like a sound effect or something? Oh, are we too good for making our own sound effects? Oh, we're too good for that. Now? Okay, let me just go over to the computer. That's fine. I already got it all queued up over here on the computer. Ready? Better. Okay, I'm also posting an office cleanout video because I know you guys saw, you guys see in the background like how cluttered it was, and I you know, was. It was. Oh, let me just. Okay. Uh, you're lucky that the sun's going down. It's getting a little darker. Cause I think I th get up here. Get up. I think we have different definitions of what cluttered means. I did clean out one old box. It was a pretty big box. Bigger, bigger box in my head. Bigger box than your ego, actually. I filled with old props and fun stuff that I get to share the stories behind them with you guys and like where they came from and the ideas I had for them. So you can go watch that. Progress is progress. Okay, here, check it out. I'm down to my last cactus other than alloy. Eyeball. Eyeball. This is a bag of microphones, plastic microphones I've had forever. Huh? Oh, you hit that run. Uh, I bought it for something. If I was dating somebody, I'd be like, so you got fake apples? I got fake apples. Okay, how do you like them apples? Yeah, so basically this video is just to tell you a little bit about Patreon and to tell you what all is available over there and what I'll be working on. So if you want to click the link in the description, you can go check it out. It don't hurt to go check it out. Okay, that's like when someone tells you there's a really fun party going on. It don't hurt to peek through the windows. What's because, oh, there's a snack table? Oh my gosh, I love, <gasps> those are my favorite kind of Doritos. I'll be right, I'll just, I'll walk through the back door, act like I was here the whole time. I was just hanging out in the backyard. Y'all didn't see me hanging out by the bushes. Okay, I'm here for the party. Doesn't hurt to take a little peruse. There is no pressure to join whatsoever. I just wanted to make a video um, informing you guys because I had a, a, bun a bunch of people join the Patreon and they said they've never used Patreon. And I, you know, I would be confused. I'd be like, what are the ins and outs of this place? It takes a minute to like figure it out over there. So I just wanted to make a video letting you guys know what I've been up to. It's just extra 
content. It's the mush and gush, the odds and ends. It's the, I, I, I'm not tired of Christine's big dumb face yet. I've actually kind of become very fond of that lazy eye. I wish there was more stuff to watch. Patreon. You know what Patreon is? Patreon is like the, well, you know when you're out and about with your friends, you don't have pockets on your pants, but you got a cell phone and a wallet and a lip gloss and your favorite paperclip and then your friend has a wallet and you go, oh, hey, you think you could hold a bunch of my shit? Because you're the one with the per Thanks so much, okay? Patreon is a website that just like holds a bunch of my extra shit. You're not wrong. A website to hold a bunch of my shit. It has a nice, nice ring, ring to it. it. Oh my, smelled it then. Yep, smelled the garlic then. Forget this. You go. <sighs> oh. Mm, yeah, no, it's garlicky. Oh my.